Hello everybody, it's James here with James Smith Fitness, and today, I'm going to go on a little bit of a rant, and this might not sound pretty, but I'm just going to go with it and see how it goes. So you have this Russian synthol guy, and synthol, for those of you who don't know, is an oil that bodybuilders use for side enhancement that makes them makes the proportions look more balanced when they're on stage because most of them don't know how to train and it's hard to get the proportions exactly how the bodybuilding world actually wants them so they use side enhancement to enhance that look but then you have the synthol freaks who just don't actually work out at all they'll just pin themselves with synthol and again synthol is like just an oil that actually goes in the skin and hardens that can make the appearance of real muscle if used um, in small amounts but high amounts it will make your muscle look all distorted and look like crap but this Russian synthol guy there's some guys who are just synthol freaks again and they don't work out they just inject their body parts with synthol or in pick a body part and just inject that with synthol nothing else you have this Russian synthol guy his name is Kirill I think and Kirill Trezin Kirill Trezin and he injected his biceps with synthol so much that he could possibly need amputation now. Um, it's it's hard to even process the level of stupidity and just the amount of craziness, how crazy people are. And I'm sorry, you got to be insane to do that. No sane person will inject their biceps with oil with no purpose whatsoever. Now, Again, I think the whole bodybuilding culture, the modern bodybuilding culture is insane. But at least they're doing it for a specific reason. He's just doing it to get popular on the internet. But, I mean, you you got to have some mental issues going on with you. If you honestly think that even looks attractive or... If you honestly think that doing that to your body will benefit you in any way. What's going to happen now? Now he's going to have, possibly going to have no arms. He's not going to have any quality of life. He's not going to be able to do things he wants. Dude, he, what's going to happen when he has kids one day? Oh yeah, sorry son, I, I can't play baseball with you because... I was stupid when I was younger and injected my biceps with oil and freaking I had to get my arms cut off. Come on, you guys be smart. Don't be stupid. We go to the gym to be fit. We go to the gym to improve our health, to improve our quality of life, build muscle, lose fat, or whatever goal that you set for yourself. This is just pure stupidity and this guy needs to have a psychological evaluation of himself. Really, I can't fathom how anyone could do this to themselves. Now he's not gonna have any, any, uh, now he's not gonna have any arms. Uh, d does he even realize the severity of the situation, or does he even care? Wh what is your va what is your value as a person if you can't value your own self? I want to live. I want to live the best quality of life I can possibly live. I don't want to be limbless. I don't want to have missing limbs just over something that was stupid that was my fault that I did. This is insane. 
again, I don't condone the use of synthol. I don't condone the use of steroids. I am, if someone's going to use it, I am pro-responsible use of steroids. But I would never just go out and say, or tell somebody, use steroids. That's condoning it, but I know people are going to do it anyway. So, I have the option out. If anyone has questions about steroids or synthol, they can ask them. But, be real guys. This, this is just stupidity. And... I still, from seeing this like a few months ago, after I saw this from Louis Marco, um, this, I mean, I've, I've seen, this is not the craziest synthol story I've seen, but it's up there, and oh boy, I honestly don't understand it. Again, I don't understand bodybuilding either, modern day bodybuilding, but at least they're actually doing something to actually enhance that look that the judges want. Or they could just uh, focus better on the training and not do all this fluff and maybe they'll build their muscles like they need to build them. Guys, always remember, be healthy, be fit, do not do stupid stuff to risk your health, unless it is done in a manner which you're going to go pro, or you're going to have hopes going pro, or you just want to be an athlete. Other than that, no risks, risks shouldn't be taken for your health, if you're just a Gym goer. Now, does that say, do I think there's much risk? I mean, there's, there's risk, but do I think there's much risk in taking like 500 milligrams of testosterone a week? Or, or even less than that? No. I mean, there, there's risk involved, like there's lower HDL cholesterol, possibly impacts your cholesterol, but, um, if you were responsibly with a proper diet and under the care of a medical doctor, guys can use some steroids and still live help happy, healthy lives. It's just the the dangers and the dose and the danger is actually what you put in your body. And synthol is there's no health benefit with synthol, it's just oil. That's all it is. There's no it's not going to help you in any way. It's not going to help you in any day, everyday life. All it's going to do is just destroy you. Don't take synthol. It's stupid. Alright guys, I hope this video has been useful. And I will talk to you all next time.